Hi everyone, Allison Hartson here. Today was the bloodiest day for the Palestinian people since the Gaza conflict in 2014. Over 50 people have been murdered and thousands have been injured, half of them by live ammunition. Meanwhile, in Jerusalem, Ivanka Trump and Steve Mnuchin were celebrating the opening of the U.S. Embassy or the move of the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, calling it, quote, a glorious day. So we have leaders in the U.S., and this isn't anything new, but what they're doing is talking out of both sides of their mouths. They're feigning sadness, they're feigning shock over this massacre when in fact they contribute to it. You know, they pay lip service to a two-state solution between Israel and Palestine while voting for arming and giving aid in the tens of billions of dollars to Israel over Palestine. Dianne Feinstein is one of them. In 1995, she voted for the Jerusalem Embassy Act, which essentially gave permission for this move of the embassy. No president has actually followed through with doing it until Trump. So then, but then, I mean, that's not all. Less than a year ago, in June of 2017, the Senate voted to basically reaffirm that Jerusalem Embassy Act of 1995. Dianne Feinstein was one of them. To be fair, I believe it was a unanimous vote. But she votes for this and then turns around and when Trump actually does it, is, can't believe it and calls him out for it. Give me a break. Save it. You know, we have the internet, we have your voting record, we know where you really stand. Your actions, your votes speak louder than your words. What we need is leaders in DC who are willing to call this what it is, apartheid, an illegal occupation. It is a human rights catastrophe. One and a half million people, one and a half million Palestinian people are living in an open air prison where terrorists where terrorist acts are committed people aren't even allowed to leave without risking their lives and if we are ever going to see peace in this region we need leaders who refuse to take money from in the tunes of thousands of dollars but refuse to take money at all from groups like APAC who are allowing these abuses to continue and once and for all can we agree please to stop calling people anti-semitic just because they're opposed to the occupation of one group of people over another no matter where it's happening in the world this occupation that is being led by a right-wing government in israel and being supported by a right-wing government here in the U.S., and yes, I'm including the establishment Democratic Party within that right-wing government, isn't good for either side, Israelis nor the Palestinians. We must do a two-state solution, and we must do it immediately for the, state, for the sake of the Palestinians and the Israelis.